Good morning, year three students. This is Ms. Omeima. I hope you're having a lovely morning. It was lovely seeing you yesterday, and I'm sad that I can't see you today, but it's okay. Inshallah, tomorrow we're going to see each other. So today is September 20th, 2021. It's Monday. You're going to be needing your English student book. A lot of you received it yesterday. If you did not receive it, it's fine. You can use the booklet that I gave you. And of course, you're going to be needing your notebook, pencil, and paper. A piece of paper for drafting, of course. If you don't want to, you can just use your notebook. Oh yeah, and an eraser if you need one. Okay. Let me uh, remind you of our school's mission and vision. We want to create, our, this is our mission. We want to create a modern and an integrated personality for our students within a secured environment, which helps motive, moral values, and scientific merit are key features. Our vision is to provide an education sustained by values in order to build the nation. And our value of the month is knowledge. We appreciate knowledge, we seek knowledge. Knowledge means the facts, information, and skills that we acquire through experience and education. And we all had this deal. You can learn from someone older than you. You can learn from someone younger than you. Okay, now let's start with the teaching part, the learning part, the fun part. So our objectives for today, we're going to be doing three, four. One and two are for yesterday. Three. You're going to be able to demonstrate your understanding by answering questions about the story, the story of Tom. Yesterday, we learned about Tom and Alex, the rescue. And we're going to analyze a character through filling a spider map. And the character to be specific will be Tom, okay? Now, I'm going to move down to the rescue. Um, let's read it together. And then after we read it, we're going to answer the questions. The Rescue by Alan Durant. Hold on, Tom, a voice shouted from above me, but I didn't know how long I could hold on. Help is on the way. It was Alex, my best friend, who was shouting. We'd been having such a great time. How could it all have gone so wrong? It was a sunny day. Alex and I had decided to take a walk along the clifftop. The view was amazing from up there. I was looking over the edge of the cliff when my foot slipped from under me. Ah, I cried in panic as the ground suddenly fell away. Terrified, I slid down the rock face. Somehow I managed to grab hold of a narrow ledge. I was clinging onto the, ro to the rock, but I was starting to get cramp in my hands. I could feel my fingers slipping. I was losing my grip. Hold on, Tom. Alex called again. Help won't be long, but how long could I hold on? Soon I would drop onto the rocks below. Some gulls flew by me. If only I had wings, I thought. My legs dangled in the air and I felt faint and dizzy. I was so tired. Give up, let go, said a soft voice inside my head. But there was another voice. It said, keep holding on. You must fight to save yourself. Okay, let's go to the next page. I was in pain from head to toe. I wouldn't look down and I couldn't look up. I stared at the sheer rock in front of me. I willed myself to be strong, but it was no use. It was so hot and, it was, and I was getting weak. I was going to fall, I was going to die. And then I heard it. First, there was a hum in the air, and then a throb and then a whir. I couldn't see anything but the noise was getting louder, closer. I could picture blades spinning round and round. It was so loud that my ears hurt. A man in a harness banged against the rock beside me. He inched towards me, swinging on a rope. Almost, almost there, he said. He put a belt round my waist. Then he pulled it tight. Now let go, he shouted. I still held on. What if my mind was playing tricks on me? What if I fell? Let go, the man called once more, and this time I did. For a moment, I was treading air. I couldn't breathe. I flapped my arms. My head rolled. Then I smiled as I saw I was going up, not down. I was going up, not down. I was rising towards the helicopter. 
I could see Alex on the cliff and I waved and grinned. I was safe, I'd been rescued. Okay, so this is a lovely story. It's about a boy who has just been rescued. Of course, it's about two boys. Let's start from the top, Tom and Alex. Tom is the boy that fell and Alex is the boy who is with him, his friend, okay? Uh, Tom feels bad about falling. There's a point where he feels like he wants to let go, but something tells him to hang on and he's brave. He remains holding until a brave helicopter person, somebody in the helicopter, like a pilot probably, or a firefighter, we don't know. Firefighters can ride helicopters, came and rescued him. Okay, so it's a lovely story. I need you to please bring your student book. I want you to open page two. This is how it looks like. I'm going to give you 10 minutes to answer these. Just the first part. Tick the sentences that are true about the story, the rescue. Okay, now 10 minutes, please pause the video for 10 minutes. Okay, and 10 minutes are over. Let's go ahead and answer them together. Tom fell because his foot slipped and the ground fell away under him. Alex grabbed Tom's hand as he fell. Tom was clinging to the rock with his fingers. Tom was not afraid that he was going to fall down. Tom gave up and let go with his fingers and he fell down the cliff. The rescue helicopter pulled Tom off the cliff to safety. Okay, what do you have? These are the correct answers. The first one is Tom fell because his foot slipped and the ground fell away under him. Tom was clinging to the rock with his fingers. The rescue helicopter pulled Tom off the cliff to safety. So it's this one, number one. What else? It's number three. And the last one, the rest are not correct. Now I want to give you another five minutes. This doesn't need 10 minutes to fill in this crossword puzzle. You're going to read the clues and complete the crossword with words from the box. The words are all in the story, the rescue. So weak, strong, safe, terrified, amazing, and tired. And these are the words that are across. This is across, like one to the end is across. And then there's down. I'm going to give you five minutes. Please pause this video. Okay, now five minutes are over. So these are the answers. I'm just gonna display them across, strong, Number three is tired. Number five across is amazing, like all of you are. Number six across is weak. Okay, now down. There are only two down, terrified and safe. Good job. You are all amazing. Now let's do some speaking. I want you to please open your book you'll find these three pictures. Let's talk about what's going on. What's happening here? Look at the first one, A. A girl is playing soccer. Now, some of you may call this football. It's fine, both are correct, it's up to you. What's happening? Yes, good job. Now, look at the second one. A boy is sketching, drawing. What's happening? Good job. And the third picture is a picture of a brave, brave firefighter. What is he doing? He's putting out a fire. Okay, now I want you to please make sure you have your uh, notebook in front of you. We're going to describe Tom. Let's describe Tom. Now this is a picture of Tom, just so you remember who he is. Let's describe Tom. Okay, how are we gonna describe him? I want you to draw and fill in this map. This is called a spider map. 
Okay, you, big, you draw one big picture in the middle and you write Tom. And then you draw as many circles out as you want. Lines with circles. These are his traits. What do we know about Tom? I'm going to give you five minutes to finish this, please. Please pause the video. Okay, five minutes are over. These are some traits about Tom. Of course, you can have more. These are just the ones I thought of. He's adventurous. How do we know he's adventurous? He's on a hiking trip. That's how he fell at the beginning of the day. He's friendly. He didn't go alone. He went with his best friend, Alex. He's frustrated, definitely. He doesn't feel good. Okay, but this is more of his feeling. But it's fine. Someone can be frustrated for a while. It could, it could be a trait. He's brave. You can add brave over here. He's very brave. Do you have any more? You can add them if you want to. I would love to see them tomorrow when you're in school. Okay, so today we learned about the story. Yes, I'd like you to kindly summarize what you learned and I would love to see it tomorrow. I want you to write a very small summary of the story. You guys were amazing and I'm very excited to see you all tomorrow. Have a lovely day.